Hello everybody and welcome to a brand new series on FM19. I finally got the copy. It's not long now before it officially um, gets released. And um, as you can see, I'm playing as Man United again. But what I'm going to do and what I'm thinking of doing in future, like releasing and stuff, like I'm going to play a United series one season uh, just to get to grips with the game and, uh, and then do a different uh, save after I've come after we've done the one season so with Man United I started playing it just to get to grips with it I thought you know I'll uh, do this while the beaters on and then when the game officially gets released with the new leagues and stuff like that uh, new databases and things that can get loaded on I can uh, start something fresh and the reason for that being is uh, we kind of uh, easily beat Chelsea 3-0 very easily so I thought you know maybe it might be best to record this and uh, I can't see United in this day and age at the minute ever beating Chelsea <laughs> even though they did come close to the night um, unfortunately they conceded in the 96th minute which was a really annoying however in this game <laughs> we beat Chelsea 3-0 uh, we'll go through the side in a second but Rashford scoring two and uh, Jesse Lingard Rashford on the other hand he has uh, been put forward as a forward now not as like on on the wing as an inside forward. Mario, we've got Lee Grants in there now. Um, David De Gea, as you can see, both of them are injured. <laughs> Yay, that's a great start. Um, and Lee Grant, first game, clean sheet. Didn't have really much to do though, to be fair. Phil Jones is there, which I am looking to offload. Um, I still don't rate him as a player, especially not in the United shirt. Chris Smalling's still there. I'm not going to be making too many changes in this save um, I want to see what we can do with the current squad. Uh, we have made one or two changes. Actually, shall I go through that now? Then there's not many shocks at all. There we go. Uh, let's go through the ins first. And Andre Adrian Silva. He comes from Leicester. Now I didn't have any say so in this um, this transfer. It just happened. Um, I'm not taking control as on the training and stuff like that. I think I may have done on personal ones. I'm not quite sure, but we can get to that uh, later on or probably later on in saves and stuff like that. We just want to get this out and just try and go through all the different screens and stuff like that as well. So, uh, Silva is a midfielder. He can play uh, box to box. He's a central midfielder as well. So, stats wise, he's not too bad. It's like the Sawal. If you go back and watch my FM18 save, my Man United save there, we did pay. 22, uh, 23 and a half million for him though. It was only at Leicester for one season, if that. In fact, I don't like this over here, so can I move that over here? Looks like they've changed things around because I'm sure that price wise was down here before. But hey ho. Um, but yeah, we bought it for 23 and a half million. The budget was, we did have quite a good budget, to be fair. I think it was only something like 60 million. He is valued at 42 and a half million now. And he's only on 85 grand a week, which I think the salaries this time is um, quite reasonable. Oscar Melendo, he's Spanish. And again, another midfielder. I'm not sure. Yeah, he is in the under 23s. Again, I didn't have a say so in this one as well. I left it all just to the youth team manager. Um, and yeah, that's that's what it is. Six and a half, six and a quarter million. It's not bad. He's quite early in his career. He's played at Espanol, really. And they picked him up, so obviously they've seen something in him that I probably don't. Um, but stats-wise, he's very bad marking, though. Very bad marking. I have changed this uh, skin colour for the the low attributes. And that's really bad. <laughs> uh, and our main uh, signing, really, is William. We wanted another right winger. I was so tempted to go for a Komen or Dembele or somebody like that, like I did in the previous save, but I want to try and do something different than I did with the last one. Uh, it's so easy to go with the same players, but I'm trying not to do that. Uh, but he's a winger, um, and I've done something that Mourinho couldn't do. We managed to bring William to ourselves uh, at, at a great cost, 85 million. Yeah, it's uh, quite expensive, especially for uh, someone who's... Well, he's probably reaching his peak in his career, though, to be fair. Uh, again, Markin's awful. Although that does all look almost the same stats as um, Melendo. But he has got other attributes. I mean, his dribblings, he, his, his crossing's okay. Acceleration, he, he can run up the side of the wings. 
uh, determination. He's got free kit. He can take a free kit and it's quite technical as well. Work rate 19, teamwork 18. It It's there or thereabouts, but um, he cropped up on the radar. And I thought, you know what, United tried to get him, so why not us? So we did get him. And it's um, with Lingard not being as great out on the wing. I don't think we have many wingers. And on the way out, we've got three plays out on loan. Um, Tom and A, Gribben and Pereira. In the end, I gave up, um, I let Pereira go. But he's only gone to Newcastle just because I don't think I'm going to be using him, to be perfectly honest. Back to the squad. Uh, Eric Bailey's in there. Rojo's injured. Again, Rojo probably want to... Yeah, I'm, I've got him on the list to go. He's, I'm not a fan. Let's put it that way. Valencia's injured. Lindelof, uh, Ashley Young. He's actually playing quite well for United this season, so we're going to hang on to him. Darmian's in there. Luke Shaw's injured. Dalot's injured. As you can see, there's a theme coming along. They're all injured. Uh, Fred, we're going to try and utilise him quite a bit in midfield as well. 40 million we bought him for. To me, he's not proven enough. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, he might prove me. Hopefully, he'll prove me wrong. Uh, who else we've got? Uh, Silva, we've looked at. Matic. Uh, I, was, I was okay with the guy coming to uh, United. We may or may not use him, but we shall see. Tomine, he's gone out on loan. Fellaini is still hanging around. Um, Pogba, we're not going to get rid of him this time round. We're going oh, to use him. We're only here for one season. Uh, William Lingard, not too bad. Um, Mata, I still like Mata as a player. Rashford, uh, pressing forward on there now. But he is now a fully advanced forward, so he's not left out on the wing he can play on the wing as an inside forward still but he has got that um the advanced forward role now as well which is uh which is good uh ignore them stats going down he can't throw he can't mark he can't tackle um position is not great he's only 20 years old though and if you go back and look at my fm18 save later on in the save the last couple of seasons he was absolutely brilliant, so <laughs> we're going to stick with this young one. Uh, here we've got Sanchez. I have to say, I'm not a fan, but Martial is um, doing well, and Lakaku as well, who's injured. So, player wise, we have got a decent squad. We do want to offload quite a few of them. Have we got Fellaini? No. I thought I had a few of them more on um, listed, but I think Rojo and Jones want to get rid of, I want to bring another centre back in, but money is quite tight finances wise, uh, as you can see the wages, apart from Sanchez, yeah, apart from Sanchez who's on ridiculously stupid money I mean 350 grand a week I'm still undecided whether to uh, offload him or not, I really don't know what to do about him really, we'll see if we can use him, but like I said but I don't want to offload too many that we don't have a side we're going to stick with the squad and see what they can do and see if we can do better than what Mourinho is doing. Wages wise, again, De Gea, second set highest Pogba. Uh, the wages aren't that bad, to be perfectly honest. Yeah, even down here, down to the bottom, Dollar's only on 25, Grant's on 30. So there's quite a few on under 100 that we are playing. Finances, we're rich. Hopefully we'll... For the first time in any save that I have, that I'll start making money. But um, at the moment, it's not going to happen. That's purely because of that uh, big transfer we had. Uh, we are slightly over the wage budget, but we've got about one and a half million left, which we'd like to think that we could just correct that. So it's not too bad. Dynamics, everything seems very good. Tactical wise, we are going with this formation, the 4-3-3 wide formation. We're just going to have the one forward up front this season. I like the attacking 4-2-4, four, four, but uh, we, ha we are overrun with midfielders, so we're going to use that. So I think the only change on here is uh, we've got now the tactical side where you can see who, um, what he actually does. You, you don't tend to pick pressing or anything like that. You just have more of this. There's a more balanced one. There's a very attacking one. I suppose that's overload, is it? Um, cautious, defensive and very defensive. So obviously you pick one of them and obviously change the dynamics of the team a little bit. Um, but again, it's always attacking. I like attacking football, but depending who we're playing and if we're away or not, then obviously that's going to change. I haven't seen this a bit actually. Um, fluid counter-attack. I'm assuming it just likes us doing that because if we've got wingers in there, it's going to a wing play. 
I do like having wingers. Byline and Cross, that's what I've always been taught when I've been playing football, so there you go. Uh, team report, um, we've got a lot of depth in midfields, hence why we're going through in midfield. Um, midfield death, top goal scorer, Rashford's two strikes, ranking second in the competition already. Formations used over the past couple of seasons, 4 one 4 one was also contributed to concede an average of five chances per 90 minutes. That's quite a lot. Uh, transfer due 1.6 left, spending 20 grand 20 grand over a week. Okay, fair enough. Our squad depth, we have re reason we got everybody in there. We are short on a um, left back, really. I know Young can play there, um, but apart from that, I mean, looking at that, the stars, they're not that great, are they? We are, are quite kind in um, midfield. Just the back, really. We get, we'll get we get stuffed if uh, any of them lot get injured. Training-wise, I know this has changed a lot, and this is a... Uh, this has come up now. Uh, Lingard's doing well in training, 8.8. .8. That's not average training, is 7.46, but he's running at 8.8. .8. I mean, look at Smalling and Martial closely behind in the 8s. So that's not bad. So he's probably pushing for a start as well, is he? Also, here you could uh, decide where um, what your uh, players are training on, I guess. Bit of mentoring, individuals. There you go, individual trainings. Um, I think you can change some of these, can you? He's got torn knee, knee ligaments, ouch, that's gonna hurt. Risk of injury increased, why? I don't know. So yeah, there's quite a lot you can do with it now, but to be perfectly honest, it doesn't interest me at all. It really doesn't. I like to think I could do something with the training. Uh, I'll have to look at it a bit more, but I'm just having, just wanna play the game. Medical center, yeah, we've got quite a lot out. Yeah, I mean, look at all them players. Five mate, nine players out, five major, three moderate, one slight. Mm. So we are going to be playing Wolves today. After um, and then what I'm going to do is probably play play a couple of games, uh, play two games in an episode like the normal format. Uh, skip a couple, play another two. Skip a couple, play another two. That sort of format, just so we can get a full season through. And then after this save, I will be plow myself into like hopefully like a journeyman save. Or something very similar at least anyway just something different to what i did in fm18 just want to experience what it is like to manage other clubs and try and start from the bottom and work our way up i think that's the general idea but for the purpose of this save we're going to plow through it see if we can save man united's season and uh, get them to where they need to be because at the moment speaking as a man united fan they are shocking i'm not going to lie we're going to go down to the side that virtually played against chelsea so granting our diamond lindelof smallings is the early exception so we did have an injury to, um, I can't remember who it was actually. Defence, I can't think who it was. Actually, no, Bailey, he's back. Can we bring him back? This morning's a lot fitter, so we want to see Bailey in there, don't we? Um, and Young at the back. We've got Fred, Herrera and Pogba in midfield. Uh, William and Martial out on the wings. Rashford as sole striker. Um, all these injuries are just mounting up, aren't they? Silver's the new next new one. Gashed up a leg in training. Wonderful. That's what you want to see, isn't it? We're going to go positive. We're still going to go with the wing play. We really do want to win this game. Silver's injuries are unavailable for the match. We'll bring Matic onto the bench then. There. Right. Let's submit this team. Let's see if we can uh, beat Wolves. Take the assistant to take over the team talk. Uh, Herrera takes the captain's armband today. Uh, natural choice leader. Right. No, it's glory. Let's play this game. Raul kicks off to Ruben Neves. Uh, Wolves have quite a decent side, though. Not to be scoffed at, I don't think. Uh, we have an attack. Corner comes in. Ooh. That's not bad at all. Pogba now with the ball. Now, hopefully, he can control the game a little bit. Adama comes forward for Wolves. So this is, um, wow. Did he go wide? Must have gone wide because I didn't see that really, did I? I'm sure I put this on the highlights because this is the first highlight since that first one. And it's like half an hour in and Pogba does have the ball. He's going to go and got... Okay, now, are these individual players? Do they not pass the ball around? What I am intrigued about is has the possession bit been fixed? Because <laughs> um, we're not doing too well on possession. Again, same old, same old. This half has just flown by. I'm sure I've got it on highlights. And that's it. That's that's the first half. That's uh, 
quite dull. Huddersfield have scored. There's no other goals apart from Tottenham and Huddersfield. Uh, the points of disappointment. Disappointing. Um, well, let's calmly say we could still win this far from place from what we just saw. Uh, we've been better the team. Just keep doing what you're doing. We'll be fine. No, you've been unlucky so far. Okay, we'll, we'll go with that. They seem happy enough. Let's um, shout at them and get creative. Pogba now with the ball. He did have the ball. Lindelof now with the ball. Come on, can we get something from this bit of highlight? Uh, Fred coming forward. Oh, he's bad pass. Might be time to bring Fellaini on even. Some uh, target guy up front. We are quite limited just to having the one forward though, I must admit. And do we, oh, we do skip past him though. Martial, go on, son. Oh, it's gone wide. Why did you not pass it? Have they got shoe on sight or what? I am going to have to make a substitution at some point. I think, oh, time on 2-1 now. Kane with two goals now. Um, in fact, I am going to pause it there and um, change it. Martial, um, Sanchez could come in for Martial. Oh, matters there though. He can come on for William. We're going to bring Lingard into the centre. He's going to go as a shadow striker just behind um, Rashford, I think. Just so we can get something out of there. We're, we're playing positively, I guess. Do we go attacking for the last five minutes, say? Could be a risky, because we are drawing nil-nil. We're not losing. Uh, we are away from home. Over the top, and that's not bad, I guess. Eight minutes to go. We could go attack in the last five minutes. Uh, just hope we don't concede a goal. That would be really, really upsetting. After all the hard work's done, nearly. Oh, that's a nice turn. That's a poor ball. Oh, we do get it, though. Alex Sanchez, he's done it. He's got the winner. Okay, well, we're going to sit back then. There's no, there's no point doing anything else. So what we do, we'll uh, drag Lingard back. Or do we drag him back? Do we leave it as it is? That's a great turn there though, Herrera. It's a bad ball though. He does get it back though to Sanchez. He just wallops it into... Well, that's a cracking dive though. I do like that. Going to the last minute of added time. Grant is going to keep another clean sheet. And uh, this is a, a hard four game. Chelsea just seemed easy. Do we get another one? That would just be silly. Oh, matter almost, son. Uh, that's it, 1 0. That, that'll do nicely. I'm um, happy about that. Disappointment with the show of highlights, though. Uh, the points of disappointment. Uh, the performance was disappointing, and we should let the team know. We'll let you do that. Well, they're all happy. Review and share highlight video. Why? Devils win against Wolves. Press conference. Uh, press conf. You know what? Let, let's have a look at this press conference. Oh, 11 journals. Journalists here. Who we got? Notable journalists in attendance. FC update. 442. Let's have a look. See what it is. We'll attend it. Uh, well, it took a lot longer for you to, to get the breakthrough than you must have hoped. How relieved were you when Sanchez scored? Uh, I had. I never had any worries. Yeah, I did. We certainly made it hard for ourselves. We've got the goal eventually. That's what matters. Um, we're going to go calm on all of it as well. Sanchez dramatically was something for you to save. Uh, how do you rate that moment? That's what football is all about. It was a joy to behold. <laughs> you must be pleased with Herrera's performance. But he did stand out as one of the better players on the pitch, yes. Oh, that was quick. Very quick press conference. And we do have a rest day. Recovery, we're traveling, recovering, and resting. Okay, so we're starting out, we're, we're continuing our good run. Uh, Sanchez scoring, I think that's his first goal for the club, is it? No, he scored in the friendly against under 23s. Oh, and against Chenoir. Um Okay, that'll do. Oh, and he did score against uh, Zingfu as well. Okay, fair enough. Um, right, so we're going to play a couple of games and then we're going to come back to... Well, I don't know when the draw is for the um, Champions League. Probably come back to these two games, Brighton and um, uh, the Unknown in the Champions League. Hopefully we may see the draw, but I think the draw is somewhere around about here, I, if I remember correctly. It could be just before the Palace game, which we, in which case we'll show you the groups um, when we come back. So... 
a little bit different. Uh, so apologies if it's gone on for just a little bit too too long. I'm just trying to find my way around this game. And uh, even though that game had no highlights, it did feel like it went on for quite a while. I'm trying to get through the season before the game, um, for when the game um, officially comes out, so we can start a new save, and um, we'll take it from there. So if you did, guys did enjoy that, please pop a big like on there. If you'd like to see more, stick with us. Please subscribe, and uh, thank you very much for watching. Thank you.